Oh, well, hi there, everybody. I hope you're having a good morning. Welcome back to today's Let's Play Alan Wake Double Feature. I've been having a lot of these, but it's because I have a whole lot of fun with this game. I really, really like Alan Wake. It's so fun and easy to play. And it also makes me go eep every once in a while. I like games that make me go eep. In the dark of the night, I will say eep now. Ooh, ah, ooh. Whoa! Alright. Alright, got my timer started. Yes. Let's go. Oh, gee, Scoob. Oh, oh no. It's coming to get me. Whatever will I do? <laughs> <laughs> it just it just moves me out of the way. All right, let's get moving. <laughs> I love this game. Sincerely, this is one of my favorite games ever. Oh man, I just got a feeling something's over here, like something to find. Really? There's so many good places to hide things, but I guess you know, I'm thinking there's just not enough secrets to hide. What are we looking for so far? The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. What was that? <laughs> oh, no, it's not a demon car. Holy snap! I'm not taking any rentals, I swear. There's got to be something in here. Whoa. Alan, what the... Can I get in there? Seriously. Is there a freaking door to this building? Oh my gosh, Alan. Yeah, there is, but it's closed off. Okay, I'll just assume there's not much in there. If anything. Be on the lookout for more demons. Something invisible is... <laughs> you know, these manuscript pages are real ninjas! Okay. Okay. <sighs> Okay, where are we? Great Peak Forge. Founded in 28, Great Peak Forge mining town was one of the permanent settlements. Uh huh. Nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers the miners face on a daily basis. Oh no. That's actually pretty sad. And this place is really spooky. This is like. Well, uh, they have in horror movies all the time, do this all the time, where it's like, you're on an Indian burial ground or something like that. This is like a haunted coal mine. Where a bunch of miners were buried alive, and then they had a memorial for it. A memorial we've already passed. Like, I said in the last episode, the atmosphere in this game is really, really eerie. I love it. All right, got another. Uh. Whatever that thing is, it's really mad. Better use those batteries. Uh. All right. Who to thunk it? After all this time, Alan Wake has to face his greatest challenge. Home appliances. Aw, oh, give it a rest! <laughs> that was a pretty sick uh, camera angle there. Whoa! Ow! That 
should have been lethal. Don't care, using grenade! I'm hurt. I'm hurting. Now, where'd that tractor go? Oh, I know you're demonic. My dad had a tractor once. Oh, I've got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on along, let's get together in perfect harmony. I've got 30 acres and you've got 43. Now I've got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. No. Is this the place? Are there lights on it? Oh! Bob's big rigs come into a face near you. <laughs> if you're unsure where to go, it's probably a good idea to run towards the light. That's a good idea to do no matter if you know where to go or if not. Alright. Uh, oh, wow, we have a lot of time. That's a train. I was literally hit with a train. Oh, oh snap, that was awesome. Not having it though. Oh, grenades have no effect on the train. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. I don't want to die! I'm dead. We've come this far, and Alan Wake must face his greatest challenge! A train. My baby takes the morning train. He works from nine till five, and then... Alright, number one tactic to fighting demons, hide behind crap. Use batteries until dead. Where'd the last piece of the train go? There it is. <laughs> Trains just aren't so smart when there's things in their way. Yeah, I've got batteries to spare. Bam! Oh, there's the Iron Horse achievement. That's for having a uh, impact with the train, or for killing the train. I guess that was a mini boss. Like uh, seriously, there's an achievement for it. Must have been a mini boss. A <laughs> damn good cup of coffee. That is another achievement. I think it's for collecting twenty coffee things. Alright. Here I come. Give me my, my wife. Hello? Is this the place? Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself. His girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence. About growing scared of Lake. 
Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay, okay. So, that answers my question from before on, on what the goths were. They're, uh... You look beautiful tonight. I ever tell you that? Hunting rifle. Oh, I have to switch out one of my true loves for you. I know the game wants me to. Goodbye, shotgun. Know that I love you still. I would never truly cheat on you. Wow. Alright, I think it's working better. I hope that there wasn't a too terrible of a frame drop there. Oh, hey, Snowy Mountain. That'd be cool to be in some uh, snowy environments in this game. Yeah, that'd be real atmospheric. But anyway, yeah, like I said, that answered my question about where the monsters are coming from. They're, they're mirror images from a dark world. So it's kind of like intertwining dimensions and stuff like that. That's creepy. It's also creepy that uh, Thomas's story is... Hello? The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. <laughs> it was telling me to hurry up. Oh, uh, okay. Our kidnapper is your average League of Legends player. Okay, I get it, I get it. Well, finders keepers! That's another achievement. You hear that breathing? Of course it's gone now. I swear, that breathing only shows up when I'm near those little candlelight spots. I was told that those are important, too, uh, plot-wise, but they aren't explained for some time. So I can't wait to find, about, uh, find out what those are all about. Birds. Birds where? Oh, no. No wonder they gave me this. Yeah, that was totally safe, Alan! Cool! Hey, I followed your- I was gonna say, I followed your advice about using the flare gun against the birds. Good advice. Dangle. Ow, 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 Don't care! Yeah. At least the birds are gone. How much time have we got left? Only a few minutes. Alright, we're good, we're good. Wheelbarrow. Hmm. Something seems eerily fishy about this coal mine. There's not a piece of coal to be found. That's awfully leaky. Man, you ever get that buried alive feeling? Yeah? Who, who is it? Oh boy. Prepare for the worst, you guys. There's another page. Some more stuff down there. Must I use the trope again? Mysterious video game generosity. What was that? 
Oh, it's the light. Speaking of light, there's a moth on my screen. <laughs> Go away. Go away. Shh. Oh, man. Oh, double man. I know he's gonna try and bury us alive. Subtle. What? Aw, oh, nuts. Ow! If that's so, how come you exist? hey -oh! That was an insult against your mom. hey -oh! Boom, headshot. Ow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Didn't realize you guys were there. How's it going? Shot in the loins. Sadistic, Mr. Wake. Sadistic. Uh, I see where you get your inspiration from writing now. Ah, coffee. Good. I was just in the mood. Uh, next checkpoint, I'm probably going to call it. It is so dark. Like, uh, that's where I gotta be. Come on, Al, you can fit through that. I would try. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Most likely. Uh, we got a few minutes. Let's just solve this one puzzle. Alright. This seems totally safe. Seriously. Are you, are you kidding me? This isn't really how the miners got around, is it? I see, okay, I, I get it. There we go. Oof, this is so safe. This is so safe! No wonder they had crosses everywhere. The miners were suicidal. Alright, right there. Because I'm a genius. And I know this puzzle even before it even got started. Even before it even. I'm just that much of a genius. What's that? Good looking too? <laughs> You're too kind! How do I get this ladder down? Oh, you have to falcon kick it. Wake and kick it. It's getting late. <sighs> uh, that should do. Back up we go. We did it, you guys. Just in time, too. Look at that. That took up just the amount of time that I wanted it to. Most likely going to save. Indeed it did. Oh, but I want to see what's up here. I want to see... Where are we? Falcon Kick! Yeah, don't need tough guys with access to bring down doors, do we, Alan? Alright. Oh, that's probably right where we gotta be. 
Extended ep episode, you guys. Just gotta find out. Just gotta find out what's going on up here. Flares. Flares. Is he up here? No, it's just a stupid page. Alright, not extended episode. I've lied. We gotta go that way. And we'll do it later. Less I. <laughs> oh, we can focus. Whoa, 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 whoa. I accidentally let go of the button. This is like uh, getting a Vista point in Guild Wars 2. It's pretty sick. That is one awesome mountain. Anyway, guys, that'll be it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching tonight's episodes of Let's Play. Alan Wake on Nuclear Gothic. I sincerely hope that you all have enjoyed, and I hope you will stick around next time for whatever I decide to film after this. So until then, I hope you have a good day, good night, good lunch, or whatever the heck you might be eating, and I will see you all next time. So until then, does <laughs> Madonna. There, everybody. I hope you're having a good morning. Welcome back to today's Let's Play Alan Wake Double Feature. Been having a lot of these, but it's because I have a whole lot of fun with this game. I really, really like Alan Wake. It's so fun and easy to play. And it also makes me go eep every once in a while. I like games that make me go eep. In the dark of the night, I will say eep now. Ooh, ah, ooh. Whoa. Alright. Alright, got my timer started. Yes. Let's go. Oh, gee. Is there a freaking door to this building? Oh my gosh, Alan. Yeah, there is, but it's closed off. Okay, I'll just assume there's not much in there. If anything. Be on the lookout for more demons. Something invisible is... <laughs> you know, these manuscript pages are real ninjas! Okay. <sighs> okay. Where are we? Great Peak Forge. Found it in 28, Great Scoob. <laughs> oh no, it's coming to get me. Whatever will I do? <laughs> it just, it just moves me out of the way. All right, let's get moving. <laughs> I love this game. Sincerely, this is one of my favorite games ever. Oh man, I just got a feeling something's over here. Like, something to find. Really? There's so many good places to hide things, but I guess, you know, I'm thinking there's just not enough secrets to hide. What are we looking for so far? The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. What was that? <laughs> oh, no, it's not a demon car. Holy snap! I'm not taking any rentals, I swear. There's got to be something in here. Whoa. Alan, what the... Can I get in there? Seriously. 
Its Peak Forge mining town was one of the permanent settlements. Uh-huh. Nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers their miners face on a daily basis. Oh, no. That's actually pretty sad. And this place is really spooky. This is like... Well, uh... They have in horror movies all the time. Do this all the time. Where it's like you're on an Indian burial ground or something like that. This is like a haunted coal mine. Where a bunch of miners were buried alive. And then they had a memorial for it. A memorial we've already passed. Like, I said in the last episode, 